Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Chromebook Classroom video. Today, I have a very special guest, probably an unexpected guest, uh, Mr. Brett Barron, who is our physical education consultant for learning services. Hello, Brett. How are you? Good. 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 I'm super excited you're here because people are not going to necessarily think that phys ed or physical literacy or physical education has like anything to do with technology whatsoever. And so I'm happy you're here to uh, to help us uh, sort out a few definitions, but uh, you're going to give us all a little movement today. Yeah, yeah so, so and I, I think, think there are some, some connections, connections to be made, especially stuff. within the, the digital age that we live in. And, uh, you know, the need to be physically active and stay engaged in that capacity, as well as students who are remotely learning as well. So certainly phys ed is not uh, one to be sort of passed over when the, uh, the technology conversation comes up. So it's definitely a, an important piece to, uh, to implementation and programming, as well as thinking about uh, an overall quality phys ed program which we also <laughs> talk about as well. So uh, some things that have come up uh, recently, not only just within the literature, but any, any conversation that surrounds health and phys ed or wellness these days, there's these three big concepts that I, I kind of want to get out because I, I find they're near and dear to me and I hear people using them a lot. And I just want to make sure I want to kind of clear the air and make sure that we all kind of understand the difference between what is physical activity, what's physical education, and what's physical literacy. Because I know a lot of the times I hear the difference, or I shouldn't say the difference, that physical literacy and physical education are used interchangeably and although there are a lot of commonalities between the two that they are they are distinct and they are different so first off first piece i want to get out what is physical activity physical activity is anything that has to do with the physiology of the body with respect to movement okay we can be considered sedentary we can be considered moderate to vigorous but anything that gets your body moving and your heart pumping is that uh, you know it's that huffing and puffing and that motion going. That is considered physical activity. And it should not be used interchangeably with physical education. Right? Physical education is the knowledge, skills, and attitudes to live a healthy, active life. A quality physical educator will use physical activity as a tool to bring into their physical classroom to help make a quality, robust piece of um, Alongside Physical education within the Alberta curriculum is set up into five dimensions. And those five dimensions should all be looked at in sort of a, a, an equal capacity. So we've got we've got games, not sports games, <laughs> dance, gymnastics, alternative environments, and individual activities, all which take part within the greater domains of ABCD, activity, benefits for health, cooperation, do it daily for life. So within those five domains, we do hit those four general outcomes. And they should, again, be looked at in an equal and overall capacity. Speaking specifically about physical literacy, physical literacy is the unique individual journey that somebody takes to not only be physically educated with the knowledge, skills, and attitude to live a healthy, active life, but to actually take part in the physical activity that you need to do so. Okay? So understand that that's a journey that doesn't end with uh, grade 12. Right. So our physical education curriculum takes part from kindergarten to grade 12. Right. And by that time, we're hoping to inspire our students to have those knowledge, skills, and attitudes. But the physically literate individual is somebody who continues that journey and continues it throughout their entire life. They have the, the competency and the confidence, as well as the motivation to do that in a variety of spaces with a variety of activities. They don't necessarily need to be an expert or professional in any particular one, but they can, you know, join a recreational sports team or a dodgeball team or a, or a softball team or, or whatever it might be. They have the confide confidence and the attitude and the motivation to take part. Okay? So... We as physical educators help inspire kids to be physically active, which we're going to... I love it! <laughs> ...our uh, application here. Um, but just to finish that point, we're using, we're using physical education to help promote physical literacy on a lifelong level. 
<laughs> okay, I love it. This is perfect timing because this just kind of jumped in because you know what people don't realize is how long we sit in front of a screen sometimes. And you and I have talked about this because we do want our staff, our students, everyone to recognize screen time, recognize movement breaks, and just know that we, we're all on screens a lot, whether that's in front of a smart board or whether that's on individual Chromebooks or things. But you actually have a great extension for us that's going to remind us uh, to move it, to have some movement breaks, and uh, it, it just took over your Chrome browser. So do you want to tell us a little bit about this extension? Because this is very exciting. Right, so getting to the move extension, if I go to the uh, the Chrome web store and I just type in move it here, it'll allow me to pick up this uh, this extension, this move it extension, you can see it here on my browser. And then you can set it to an interval. And between that, we've got it set to five minutes here because we're not trying to take too long, but you can go in from five to an hour that it'll give you a prompt which sets you up for a movement break. So, for instance, here we are. Are we going to pump both your arms over your head for three seconds? Are we doing it? However it works, however it makes you feel, get them up. This way, that way, here we go. Right? And this is something that, as I'm teaching or using PowerPoint, whatever might be in front of my kids on my smart board, I can have this set to a 30 minute interval so that I know. Every 30 minutes, there's going to be a movement activity and a movement break as we know uh, physical activity is so very important and vital for optimal growth and development. Well, I love that interval because you know what I'm thinking of as you're talking, Brett? Students can also personalize this extension. They could install it on their Chromebooks and we could also work with students to talk about when do they need breaks? Like, you know, let's, if we can get through the next 20 minutes, let's focus on this activity, then you're going to get a break. And it just allows some of that, that individual movement breaks or on task behavior or some of those things to really be personalized for students too. So I love that we can do it whole group or just individuals. That's so great. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, just sort of that reward piece and, and the uh, looking forward to being able to being active and, and, and moving. Maybe we don't do it so much but as teachers, but we have to understand that our, our kids definitely do. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, we've talked about uh, the difference between physical education, physical literacy, and physical activity. I just want to highlight again how very vital and important it is because being physically active, no matter what age, is going to enhance self-perception and self-esteem, especially uh, within our student population. Um, the research is, is overwhelming and it's resounding. Uh, time and time and again, mental health is linked to being physically active and the greater you are in terms of your overall physical activity levels the greater the benefits for your for your, uh, for your mental health um optimal growth and development which i touched on earlier um you know, it doesn't have to be a big deal, right? It doesn't have to be, you have to go to the gym every day. It doesn't have to be, I have to run a marathon, right? It can be something simple. It can be something as quick and easy just as we do with our, uh, with our, our Chromebook extension, just to get our kids, right? Um, so important with the amount of screen time that we do consume these days that we are making time to, to really get our bodies in a position where we are active so that we can sort of receive those those feel-good beta endorphins uh, throughout the day. Last couple things here. These, uh, these are on uh, the physical education SharePoint. But as we're doing the video for Chromebooks, I thought it was uh, important that we could do something specifically that could be used with Chromebooks. So when I'm thinking of using these, I'm thinking maybe that there's a there's a station or maybe it's an indoor recess that kids have an opportunity to uh, use the Chromebook extension. And oh, here's our um, here's our time to dance challenge. So this is just nice. a simple, you know, uh, it's going to load on your on your Chromebook, and they go through uh, eleven different dances, and then you can kind of choose. Uh, one through twelve, which one you would you would uh, get up and dance to? So the kids would get this uh, this die here, and then they would roll it, or they could roll one here, and then it would show up as a. It's gonna come up here. Really, it's, the suspense is great. 
this is a long. Is a long <laughs> I'm not sure when it's gonna end. But then it would it would have the matching number. The kids could do that, you know, do that dance, right? Oh wait, I think sorry, they pause it. That yeah, it. there you go. Keep going until you pause. So we hit a seven, okay? So you do some disco points, right? And then the nice thing about this is that if you were uh, you could you could use this maybe as an indoor recess activity where kids could work up towards building their own dance, hmm. right? part of your dance unit, right? So you could just. Uh, you could just, you know, pop on the music. Say, hey, here you go. Here's one uh, one link for the Chromebook, and help you create your own dance, right? I mean, could they come up with their own moves? Absolutely. But these are just some, some good starting points. Well, I love that you're giving more teasers because guess what? You can use your Chromebook to make those videos too. So that's fantastic. And same thing, uh, same idea with the yoga poses, right? Love it. So we uh, we roll our die, and then we uh, yeah we land on oh here we go run in place right maybe not a traditional uh, yoga pose specifically but definitely something to help you get moving and get active. Uh, this is so great, and you have even more ideas for us today. You've given us one extension. We're all going to go and install and reminders of how long we're on a screen in those breaks. But you have an entire SharePoint site that we're going to be sharing under this video as well, along with the links to these other ones. But you've got even more resources for anyone, technology or not, on the physical education site, right? Right. So yeah, I go learning services, um, curriculum, physical education. Uh, once you get here. We'll have um, you'll have a few things that'll come up. There's some real quickly. There's some on-demand lesson plans that are web-based here. Uh, some of them do require a login, but uh, one that I really love showing people is uh, this one for Ever Active Schools. If you're ever in a pinch, a need where you have to come up with a quality physical education lesson plan. Um, again, they're all divided into the domains that I spoke about earlier, but let's say I needed a gymnastics uh, lesson for my grade five class. Well, here you go. There's, there's 12 sequential lessons lined up right there for you. And hey, here we go. <laughs> We're back to more hard pumping. No, I've, I've, used, I've used this before. And um, to be honest, typically it'll, it'll rotate the exercises so you won't get, I know we've got to uh, pump your arms over your head again. Um, I won't put you through that, but <laughs> hopefully it does, it yeah. does give you a, a variety of activities. Um, so there's a lot of different ones, climbing a ladder on, on the spot, doing some jumping jacks, leaving us to do some, uh, some tricep dips on the chair. So there's a lot of different opportunities. That's so great. And I'm sure kids will start to recognize even when they need movie breaks and they won't even need the extension anymore. They can just do some of those activities, throw in some of their own. I love that you're sharing some resources for us uh, here on your site. I know we're all going to go and check that out. You've got lots of goodies on there, always adding more all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. Just sort of back to that main page there. Um, right under the, uh, if you just scroll down from the top of the page, you'll find the, the dance icon and, and the music challenge is, is right there. And under the yoga banner, there's your, your movement break right there. So it's right under the phys ed SharePoint accessible for all students and teachers within ECSD. Fantastic! Well, I am so glad you came to geek out and combine a little physical activity with technology. And uh, I have a feeling we might need to make another video uh, of how to film things in a phys ed class on a Chromebook. So. <laughs> I, think, I think there's lots of opportunities, especially with, uh, with dance, um, games, as well as for yoga, uh, especially with, with the Chromebooks, because it's as simple as go to SharePoint, Hit the videos, boom, there they are, ready to go. Knock yourself out. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for watching today, and we will see you in our next video. Thanks, Brett. You're welcome.